Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, happy Easter if you celebrate that type of thing. Uh, me and the family have been having a cool weekend. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get into a um, basically like a, a down and dirty. These are the only rare champions I would max. So if I was starting the game again, starting afresh, there's 15 here that I would absolutely max if I got them early on. Um, and they're useful right through the game. Outside of these, there are some good rares, but the but rares outside of this, I would not be maxing up to level 60. So let's just kick straight in. Let's go through and and kind of call them out. Literally nobody in Banner Lords I would take up to 60 if I was starting from a rare or uncommon perspective. Uh, in the High Elves, we've got the man. The man everyone talks about, Apothecary, um, the beast. Look at this fella. So suave, beautiful ears. Um, good speed, good defense, good HP. He's got a speed up. He's got a turn meter fill. He's got a heal that can crit. It's actually one of the biggest heals in the game. And it's on a rare champion. We've got a triple hit A1, which can proc Warmaster. Um, sorry, Giant Slayer several times. So if you put Giant Slayer on him as a mastery, it's pretty cool. And he's got a defense in Dungeons um, Aura, which is good as well. Pretty much, you just want to load him full of speed and defensive stats. If you can get a bit of crit into that build as well for the crit heal, perfect. He will not be doing damage, but he will keep your team alive and he will keep them moving fast. Very good rare. And he is used in endgame. Elhane, not so much used in endgame, but she is strong as you're working through your team. As are all the starter champions, by the way. But she has got a double uh, AoE hit. So she's got this AoE on her... Um, A2 and a double slam AoE on her A3 and both of them hit really hard so if you're struggling for the arena she's probably your best go-to option ahead of someone like a Kale. so yeah good champion um, underrated I'd say as a rare often thought because she's eaten by the dragon she's not that good actually she's pretty good also got those sexy ears going on um, now in this group as well I've got to call out Relictory Tender I talked about her a lot she is your absolute carry champion. She picks people up when they go down and gives them a bit of turn meter boost. She cleanses off a lot of those debuffs and heals. Um, and both of those things are really valuable. And she brings a, a weak source decrease attack as well. Pretty decent stats. Uh, the main thing you want to do here again is like pump her speed. Um, try and get her to go as often as possible. So you might put her in gear that either has got like um, a something like reflex gear or something like... Um, Relentless gear is good, or just straight out speed gear, and she will pump those turns as often as she can. So if we move on then, Sacred Order. Now in Sacred Order, we've got again one of the starter champions, Aethel. Aethel, again, has got hard-hitting AoE. If you're new to the game, she's going to do a lot of damage for you right through to like mid-game. She's also got a triple hit A1, which is super helpful for Finite. It's not bad for Clan Boss as well. Brings a Weaken, and Weaken is stronger than Decreased Defense up until Nightmare Clan Boss. So if you've got a choice of Weaken or Decreased Defense, take Weaken, you'll do more damage from it. Um, she also brings Self Buffs as well, an Aura, which is nice, decent base stats, does hit hard on her AoE, good champion. There's a couple to call out here. Pur Purgator, if set up in the right way, is one of the hardest hitting rares in the game, but he's hard to set up. He does more damage when he's got more debuffs on him. You need like four or five debuffs on him to really start slamming hard. Um, you've also got in here a couple of decent ones. So Draconis is decent. Um, and we've got Armada. Now Armada, I know he's not a rare, he's an uncommon, but he is one of the best champions right through uncommon, rare, and epic. Only two abilities. A1 which cuts turn meter down to size if you crit. A2 that slams hard if you've got some damage and it block revives. So this is good for Ice Golem. His A1 is just so good for Spider, so good for Finite, so good in the Doom Tower. Um, Endgame players, me included, play this guy still a lot. He's in like, he was in until recently, like three of my teams, but he's in um, two of my Doom Tower teams still. Even though I've got loads of legendaries, he still gets in ahead of other champions. So don't sleep on your Armager. Okay then, in the Barbarian faction, we have got, alas, War Maiden. Whew. Oh, mama. Um, she has got AoE decreased defense. 100% chance to land it if you book her skill. 
Decreased defense is the strongest ability in the game when you get later into the game. So if you're trying to do dungeons like level 14 plus, if you're not putting decreased defense on the waves of enemies, it's going to take you a long time to kill them. And chances are they're going to get multiple turns before you actually kill people. That means you're in danger. So decreased defense, don't underestimate how strong this ability is. And there's no other rare that puts it on 100% of the time if you book them out. And she's free to get from the campaign. Which makes her even stronger she's actually got an okay a1 as well a bit of poison good for dragon um not the best stats okay base attack she actually hits hard but you don't want to build her to hit hard you want to build her fast you want to get her accuracy up and then you just want to build her to stay alive we've also got in here soul bond boya who is a brilliant rare absolutely top draw rare um aoe a1 um she's got a ignore defense a2 this hits really hard you can pump her up with damage and she will slam people in the arena if you wanted to do that. Uh, she's also got a turn meter deplete A3. So I actually have used mine when I showcase her on Fire Knight, on Spider. Actually kind of good for Ice Golem as well. Um, good in the arena. Yeah, generally solid champion. You put her in a stun set, she's got AoE A1. So that will give you a good chance to get some stuns out as well. But yeah, solid, solid champion. There's a couple to call out here in the uncommons. I don't think they would be like a, you must max these out. But if you're struggling for champions, then you've got shield guard, hard hitting. Um, it's a bit like an armor doing a weight, like only two abilities and defense base. So it's easy to stay alive. Very slow though. Some people use him as like a, a farmer and stuff. He's, he's decent. I wouldn't say he's like a must max. Zephyr Sniper, if you're struggling for spider, she's actually really good at tanking spiderlings for you. She's got AoE on her A1, um, and she's got this heal ability. It's a weak source heal ability on her A2. But again, she's defense-based, so if you put her in life still set, she can stay alive, and she can do a, a reasonable amount of damage. Okay then, so moving on. Ogryn Tribes, um, we've got one must-call-out in Bellowa. So Bellowa, probably up there as one of the most versatile, strongest rares in the game, can go into anywhere, any team in the early game and like cause havoc so he's got all aoe abilities can be a campaign farmer he, he was the um the person i used when i did my seven second farmer video which you can check out as well um but yeah he brings a few debuffs it's worth putting some accuracy on him it's worth putting him in either just straight out damage gear or stun sets or day sets if you want to control people as well got a little bit of a faction more crypt aura decent stats does hit hard um but yeah, when I had him on my free-to-play, I was actually throwing him in as my campaign farmer. He was an arena nuka. He was dealing with waves in dungeons. Like, he is just so versatile. As someone that you've got to be aware of here, Old Green Jailer, hardest single target hitting champion, um, rare that is, sorry, in the game. He nukes. He can literally throw out like 200k double hits on his A2. He steals buffs as well. He can slam anybody in the arena. If you're up against Skull Crowns, he can kill Skull Crowns through the unkillable buff. He uses this ability here. He goes in, hits them once, activates the unkillable, steals the unkillable from them, and then hits them again. Really, really good counter to that annoying champion in the arena. There's a couple of callouts here, I guess. Like um, Gear Grinder is strong. I feel like you can just play him at 50. I don't think you need to run him to 60. Um, that's probably it, really. So, yes, yeah, so Ogden tries. We've got a couple of decent ones there. Um, let's move on to the Lizards. Lizards, there's nobody that I would say you should max. There's not a single one. Saurus is probably the best out of the uncommons and commons, actually having a, like a purpose. Uh, he could be your campaign farmer. And someone like Harris Specs is good early game as a bit of a speed champion with a revive and stuff like that. But again, I wouldn't run him at 60. Skinwalkers then. Um, Skinwalkers have got some okay rares. Greybeard, good rare, could take him up. I personally wouldn't take him to 60, but he, I can see why some people do. Um, Fleshmonger, again, good rare. He's got this decreased defense ability, but not as good as War Maiden. I probably wouldn't take him to 60. This is the guy I would, though, Nullhorn. Nullhorn is just king of control. Absolute like beast at controlling the, the uh, fight for you. He's got an AoE Provoke, puts his defense up at the same time. He then rotates to his next skill and he becomes unkillable. So you've got someone that's absorbing all the damage and he can't die. Um, 
and if you book these down you can just cycle back to these really quickly get them back for the next wave all the while he's taking the pain other members of your team are doing the damage so good good solid champion uh, let's go on to orcs orcs there's not anybody in the orcs i guess i've got to call out galix he's one of the start champions he does hit hard to be fair he hits hard on his aoe he's got this kind of random hitting decreased defense which is you know it's decent um and he's got a double hit a1 so as a rare he's good there's nobody else here there's no one else that i would say level that guy um or girl up to max not a chance um demon spawn demon spawn there's only one that i would call out in demon spawn and that is Fellhound. so his a1 has got a chance to put decreased speed on he's got a reflect damage a2 this is extremely good against finite it's actually kind of good in the arena as well and then he's got this block damage a3 the block damage will always go on your leader so just bear that in mind if there's someone in particular you want it to go on unless you're manual in it's going to go on your leader um but yeah you can actually run him as a campaign farmer but he's great in finite is worth 16 he can hit really hard with that a1 so on to the undeads then Undeads, we've actually got an assortment of good champions here. The best one, and, and the one that I would absolutely say max out, Frozen Banshee, is probably one of the most, most known rares. Um, mainly used for clan boss. She can be in the same build as her clan boss build will be her um, dragon build as well. So you've got Poison on her A1, hits twice. You want it booked if you can, it's going to give a 100% chance to land. But it will only go on if this Poison sensitivity is out there. So really she's somebody that needs to be booked to get max potential because a five turn cooldown here is too long it needs to be a three turn cooldown so that she gets it back in a decent amount of time to then run her a1 and get those poisons out she's got incredibly good base stats for a rare good defense good speed um, we don't care about her attack she doesn't do damage through attacks she does damage through poison so don't load her attack up at all get her accuracy up defensive stats up speed up and she'll be good She's also got a reasonable for a rare accuracy in all battles aura, which can help you if you're early game. So decent champion there. We can call out a few. Um, Grave Chill is good when she's with Frozen Banshee. Away from Frozen Banshee, she's pretty average, um, but not bad, not bad. Seducer is someone that you could call out as a decent one as well. Would I take him to 60 on a normal account? Probably not. I think he's fine at 50. Um, and Doom Screech, similar sort of story, really. Actually, a very good champion, but I probably would run him at 50. I don't think I'd max him out. Um, Dark Elves, then. Dark Elves, we've got some champions in here. So we've got Akale, probably the best known champion in the game. Certainly the most played in the game. Um, most people choose him as their starter champion, and rightly so, I think. Poison A1, big source Poison A3 on a decent enough cooldown. Big Slam A2, you only need 85% crit rate. For him and for any of the um any of the start heroes they've got this kind of 15 percent inbuilt crit chance so you actually only need to take them up to 50 uh, to 85 to do their big aoe's it's pretty cool um so yeah kale can literally play anywhere in the game um cold heart insane champion end game rare literally i've got two of them and i run them both in my teams now alongside legendary champions She's all about this kind of decreased turn meter, big slam, A3. Um, also, I mean, it's just an enemy max HP. All you want to do is punch her HP up, punch her crit rate up to 70 because she's got this 30% extra chance here, and then punch crit damage through the roof. Make sure she's got enough accuracy to land her decreased turn meter, and then you've got yourself a nuclear weapon ready to go off. Crazy champion. Uh, big AoE here as well, and a four hitter A1. It's actually pretty good for clan boss early game she's very good for fire knights right the way through the game she's extremely good for spider as well in the same faction here we've got paragon you don't need to take paragon to 60 in fact he generally works better doing the paragon cheese at level 30 or 40 bear that in mind don't max him out if you see a lot of people talking about paragon he is great he can do things that no one else can do but you don't need to max him out painkeeper is only worth maxing if you've got a man eater and if you have you can do a budget unkillable team which is the easiest way to beat clan boss in the game until you get two man eaters um but again you actually don't need to max pain keeper out to do that you could do it uh, pain keeper at level 50 but i'd say if you're going to go for a clan boss team with pain keeper that's the only time i'd max her out 
And you do have to have books to do that in the A3, which is not the easiest thing to do. Uh, night Revs. So Night Revs, there's not really anyone here. I was kind of on the cusp of Coffin Smasher. If you're struggling for a decreased attack champion, Coffin Smasher could be maxed out for Clan Boss. I think he's only good for Clan Boss though, so it depends how desperate you are. Um, if you don't have any other options, then he can come in and do a decent job there. Renegade is an endgame rare, but you don't need to max her out. She can be played at 50, 40, 50 easily. Uh, so onto the dwarves then. And the only dwarf I'd say I would max out, and it's situational, is Bulwark. If you've got, if you're struggling on your clan boss setup, he's actually a really good clan boss rare. Um, he's got weaken here, he's got HP burn here. And if he gets hit, he can extend all debuffs on the clan boss, which is a, a big skill for certainly an early game team. He's also got defense and all battles. Great base stats for clan boss. But he's kind of like a clan boss specialist. I wouldn't really take him outside of that. A couple of other mentions, really. Dildor is great, but these are all voids. Kurzad is great. A few of the other rares are okay. Like Azir is good. I probably would run him at 50. I don't think I'd max him out. Um, so yeah, you've got yourself a good few options here, but Bulwark's the only one that I would take to 60 and only if I needed him for clan boss. So there you go, guys. That is all of the rares, if I was starting again, that I would max to level 60 and actually use through my content. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you later.